From D.C. to our state capitol, our local Texas representatives are making this issue a priority. KXN's Phil Prazen looks at their attempts to make us safe and also the criticism they've been getting. I believe are reserved for citizens. Representative Tony Dale says we issue more than 200,000 driver's license to people who are not U.S. citizens but can legally stay. He thinks they should look different and act different, preventing things like getting on a plane, receiving federal benefits, getting a job, or buying a gun. With a limited stay driver's license, someone can legally purchase weapons. It doesn't take a lot of people to cause havoc here, and we need to take the measures to protect American people first. The Boston bombers, for example, were both in the United States under refugee status. They don't have the proper databases to vet them. Uh, passed. In, in, in other words, they don't know who these people are. Central Texan and chair of the Homeland Security Committee, Michael McCall, filed a bill that would put the refugee authority in the hands of the U.S. Congress. Texas Rep. Roger Williams agrees. We are at war, something the president will not admit to, and uh, we've got to secure America first. Well, when I hear stuff like that, I think that they're playing directly into ISIS's hands by reacting to fear and by playing up on fear. Joe Desotel from the Travis County Democrat says we shouldn't be too hasty to change laws because of the refugees. Well, it certainly compromises our values that we are not a country that accepts immigrants. He says this is eerily reminiscent of language used right after 9-11. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Representative Dale's bill did not pass committee this last session. He thinks the recent Paris attacks should convince leaders to study it during the interim period. Well, in the past two years, Texas has issued more than 470,000 driver's licenses to non-citizens. More than a quarter of those licenses went to people from Mexico. The next largest number went to people from India. China was third on the list of non-citizens receiving Texas driver's licenses. People from Syria received 750 of those licenses.